Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. You know, sometimes for a variety of reasons, you have to move fish around. Maybe it's because of size, maybe because of aggression. I had to do that recently, and if you're a cichlid keeper, you know what I'm talking about when you say, when you move a fish into a tank from one tank to another, you cross your fingers and you hope for the best. Let me show you what happened here. You might find it interesting. If you're new to the channel and you like tips on how to keep fish, not just African cichlids, but all kinds of fish, go ahead and hit that bell and uh, go ahead and sub. That way you, you will not miss any content when I post. And uh, stop by on Saturdays, because we do a live stream where we get to interact on a live format, which I enjoy quite a bit. At any rate, let's get into it here. Let me show you what happened when I move some of these, uh, some of these fish around, and uh, you tell me what you think in the comments below. Let's go. While living here in the 60 gallon, this um, sand diver was very peaceful, just kind of a big goofy sand diver the way they are usually. And But the second I moved him into the uh, 100, he started lip locking and battling with this uh, Maduka white lips, this Placidochromus Maduka white lips. And I was really concerned that I, that I was going to have to somehow either separate them or have to decide on keeping one of them and not the other one. But it seems like they finally sorted out their differences with the uh, sand diver sticking to the upper parts of the tank and the uh, Maduka white lips more or less uh, controlling the bottom, the bottom third of the tank. So um, I think they've come to some sort of agreement here and I'm happy because they were really going at it, lip locking and what have you. So he was ready for a, a bigger tank. He needed a bigger tank. These uh, these sand divers can put on a lot of size very quickly. They're fast growers, so he was ready for a move. The sulfur head, which had been in the 60 gallon for quite some time, is a pretty peaceful fish, very colorful. Might be a, might be a hybrid, but at any rate, picked him up at a local fish store, grew him out, and he's turned into a beautiful fish, and he was just too big for the 60. The Malawi gar also had to be moved out. He put on some size real quick, and he's got some good markings. You can see he's got some blue showing up in the body, some great uh, great egg spots on the anal fin, and he was ready for a bigger home. So he had to go over to the 100 as well. And after quite some time in the 60, I finally decided uh, to bring over this Placidochromus Jalo Reef. And he is now in the 100, and he just looks really good against that black background with the blue and yellow on the body. Really nice. I even brought over the two um, Nimbochromus Livingstoni, which I had tried to uh, sell and uh, possibly even give away, but they're showing some great markings. So I'm tempted almost to uh, to keep them now and just see, just see how they turn out, because they could end up being sp pretty spectacular. In the 60, all that's left really is the red shoulder and a few of the uh, Lethronops, like the red caps, also have a, a long nose in there, a little bit of a rare fish. I think it's a female. And uh, so the, the tank is looking, um, is looking pretty roomy, uh, pretty sparse. And uh, I guess it'll be a good time for those fish to have a lot, of, a lot of tank all to themselves. You know, you can see here, I have quite a, quite a bit of room for really a small number of fish. I also have a small Cynodonus catfish in there and a bushy-nosed pleco that likes to hide under the big rock on the left. But as you can see, it's a pretty good little setup for just a small number of fish. And I think you would probably refer to this tank as a lightly stocked tank at this point, while referring to this one as a, as a heavily stocked, as a heavily stocked tank with a lot going on, especially with these new additions. I'm probably going to move out this uh, this dragon blood, very light, light dragon blood. As I predicted, he's become a bit aggressive, and he's a good size. He might be ready for the 150. Tried him in there once, but it didn't go too well. I might even move the um, the blue neon and the flavescent. I might move those two back to the 60. They're not that big. They're still pretty small, and uh, you know, just to add a little color to that 60. So there you have it, the life of a cichlid keeper. <laughs> Never a dull moment. 
All right, if you like the content, be sure to hit that bell. Be sure to sub if you haven't already. And uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's it for me. Thank you.